Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the University of Oklahoma. Presenting the Newborn College of Earth and Energy faculty and graduates. The faculty are led by Dr. Mike Stice, Dean of the College. Please be seated. Good afternoon and welcome to the Muburn College of Earth and Energy Fall Convocation. My name is Mike Stice. I'm the Dean of the Muburn College. Before I begin, I would like to introduce the college faculty who will preside over today's convocation. Dr. Buharik Jadi, Assistant Professor in the Muburn School of Petroleum and Geological Engineering, will be our enunciator today. Also joining us are Dr. Lynn Sorgan, our director of the School of Geosciences, and Dr. Runor Nygaard, director of the Muburn School of Petroleum and Geological Engineering, as well as our extended faculty and staff. Will all faculty and staff please stand? Students, it is our great pleasure to stand before you this afternoon and present the fall class of 2022 graduates. Who's behind us? Students, on behalf of the faculty and staff of the Muburn College of Earth and Energy, we do congratulate you, and we're so excited to be a part of this very special occasion. You can be seated. Today, we gather to recognize students who, by their dedication and ability, have reached an important milestone in their academic pursuits. Family and friends are also here to acknowledge the hard work and countless hours each of our graduates have contributed toward this very significant accomplishment. We celebrate this auspicious occasion with you and enthusiastically release yet another class of outstanding University of Oklahoma graduates into the world. While the University of Oklahoma is well known for its excellence in sports, our drive for excellence goes far beyond athletics. OU has produced 30 Rhodes Scholars and eight recipients of the prestigious Davis Cup Award. OU is the only university, the only university, public or private, whose students have won the Goldwater, the Mitchell, the Truman, the Rhodes, the Marshall, the Fulbright, and the National Security Education Program scholarships in a single year. This is an accomplishment never realized by even the most powerhouse of universities such as Harvard or Yale or Stanford or Princeton. Most people don't realize that excellence lies here at the University of Oklahoma, both in academics and in athletics. 
So indeed, academic excellence is at the forefront of our commitment here at the University of Oklahoma. At Mewburn College, our mission is to be a center of excellence for education and research in earth sciences and engineering, with a special emphasis on energy and environmental stewardship. We pride ourselves on preparing our students to address the issues of today and tomorrow by embracing the global competition that they will experience during their chosen professional or academic careers. Within the Mewburn College, we have a very diverse faculty and student body representing more than 38 countries. This level of diversity ensures that the Mewburn College develops global citizens ready for the challenges that impact all the citizens of the world. The quality of our students is equally outstanding. More than half of our students achieve the distinction of the Dean's Academic Honor Roll. This means their GPA was 3.0 or higher. Today, a very special day, does, does not happen at each, each graduation, we want to pay a special tribute to one student. This one student has maintained a perfect 4.0 GPA during their, Catholic, their, during their entire academic career. Chris Toth. Chris? Wow. Where's Chris's family? Is Chris's family here today? Wow. That's pretty amazing. So as you can see, many amazing things have happened here at the Mewburn College of Earth and Energy, and Chris is just one example. However, there are many others, things that we've done collectively. Our Petrobrol team, comprised of students from the Mewburn School of Petroleum and Geological Engineering, made history when they claimed first place in the International Petrobrol Championship. OU, OU is now the only school in the world to have won the competition six times since it's been given. More importantly, this team this year upset its own record from last year when they became the only team to win it five times in a row. So this has been an amazing accomplishment. So Mewburn College alumni and leaders uh, in their careers, in their companies, in their communities continue to excel in almost everything we do. We're so fortunate to have two of our alumni receive top recognition from the university in the last year. John Dowdy and Carrie Moreland, both graduates from the School of Geosciences, were honored with 2022 Regents Alumni Awards in recognition of their dedication and service to OU. This is the second highest award bestowed on alumni by the university and is only matched in prestige by honorary degrees given at commencement. And these are our graduates and alumni. Wallace Marsh, a 1990 graduate from the Mewburn School of Petroleum and Geological Engineering, was inducted into the Seed Sower Society this year, which honors those who donated $1 million to OU. The Seed Sower was selected for this society because it symbolizes OU's role in planting seeds of excellence. This year, we are particularly pleased to grow our faculty. The School of Geosciences welcomed, welcomed three new faculty members, Selena Cole, Oh, see, it's here. Davey Wright and Jacqueline Lungmus, Lungmus, who serve as the assistant curators of invertebrate and vertebrate paleontology. While there has been much to celebrate this year, it has been one that has been full with significant losses as well. We lost Curtis Mewburn, our namesake, alumnus, and faithful friend in June of this year. And just weeks ago, we lost our beloved professor, mentor, and friend, Carl Sundergaard. We will forever miss them both. And tonight, we, or this afternoon, we remember with great fondness and thankfulness their many contributions to this college and to all of our lives. We also celebrate their legacies that live on, especially here at the Mewburn College and through the graduates of today's program. Another key factor in student success is the financial support of so many donors. Thanks to their generosity, this year the Mewburn College of Earth and Energy awarded more than $3 million in student support, $846,000 in undergraduate scholarships, and nearly $2.2 million in graduate fellowships and assistantships. 
This investment, this generous investment in our future generation of leaders comes with expectations. These expectations of greatness from each and every one of you. I want to take this opportunity to thank those who have provided this, this, this funding, but I can assure you, and I'm very confident, that the money that you've invested in this student body is money well spent. Obviously, every graduate's success depends on the emotional and financial support of family and friends. We'd like to recognize them today, and to do so, please hold your applause until all members are standing. I'd like to welcome fathers and mothers of the graduates to please stand. Grandmothers and grandfathers, husbands and wives, sons and daughters, and of course, extended family. Graduates, please join me in giving a round of applause to all the family members and friends who have helped you make this day a reality. It really, really is wonderful to have all of you with us today. You can be seated. So my message here today to our graduates has three important parts. I always find it difficult to be talking to the graduates and yet they're behind me. So forgive me if from time to time if I don't bend a shoulder or two. Uh, but first, let me say to my fellow faculty and staff that we celebrate this achievement with you and your loved ones. We march into this hall in our most formal regalia, our heavy robes, our funny caps. We take great pride in the pomp and circumstance of commencement. For more than a thousand years, this ceremony, this very ceremony has contributed to the onward march of human civilization. Today, we celebrate your academic accomplishments. As faculty and staff, we very much appreciate the opportunity to provide you with a set of applicable tools and experiences that will serve you as your guide in the real world as you strive to fulfill your individual dreams and your individual ambitions. Second, I want to stress today, students, that this is not the end of your journey, but rather the beginning. The world awaits your many contributions. Although your time here was important in order to lay the foundation on which to build your future, that future is yours to make. I'm excited about the possibilities for you individually and frankly for our society as a whole, but I do have an important request. I ask that you make learning a lifelong commitment. It is so important to recognize that graduation is a new beginning, focusing on what lies ahead and realizing the promise within each of you. So rather than wave a checkered flag today indicating that you've crossed some kind of finish line, I would rather wave the green flag to encourage you to begin your journey with confidence. By using the knowledge you have gained here, I am confident you are well prepared to fulfill all your dreams and to realize your full potential. However, your ultimate success will depend on your ability to adapt to change. You will experience many changes in your lifetime Science and technology will continue to evolve. The internet didn't exist, by the way, when I was at where you were, so there's a lot to, out ahead of you, okay? Uh, science and technology will continue to evolve, making continuous education an absolute necessity to achieve your goals. For these reasons, I ask that you remain committed to a lifetime of learning. Perspiration and resilience is really the key to lifelong success. Finally, I'd like you to take a moment and think about all the great friends that you made here while you were at the university. Make a vow to maintain these relationships and stay in touch. At the University of Oklahoma, we teach you to be selfless, not self-centered. We ask that you build rich and long-lasting personal relationships, that you practice forgiveness instead of enacting revenge, be global citizens who model the spirit of reconciliation. And as Sooners, we believe the content of your character is more important than the color of your skin or your geographic origin. We hope that you have learned that life is not about you, but about caring for others. Relationships are so very important. If you truly care for others, 
your journey is guaranteed to be a happy one. Remember, each and every one of you are truly amazing. I have one final point on a personal note, and that is my, this is my last convocation as Dean of the Mewburn College. I am very grateful to be enjoined tonight by my lovely wife, Gloria, and my daughters, Juliana and Olivia. Uh, it has been an honor to serve as your Dean, and most importantly, to have the opportunity to build lifelong relationships with these students and others, also with our wonderful faculty and staff. I will miss the role, but my friendships will continue just as I've instructed my graduates. So before we begin the ceremony to convey degrees and to help you appreciate our students' accomplishments, please note that the gold hoods are worn by students receiving bachelor's degrees who have achieved a grade point of 3.4 or higher. Their names are followed by the letters WSD with distinction, special distinction, or WD with distinction in the program. There are many student and professional organizations within New Mewburn College who recognize their members with a variety of, of stoles and cords. We do have a professional photographer here who will be taking pictures. So to ensure that everyone can see the ceremony, please refrain from leaving your seat to take photographs. Information regarding the availability of the professional photographs will be communicated to your graduate. I thank you and I appreciate your cooperation. Graduates, as your name is announced, Please join me on the stage to receive your diploma cover and then return to your seat. That's important instructions, return to your seat. We've, we've had the ones just leave afterward and we, we wanna make sure that doesn't happen. Dr. Sajadi, professor in the School of Geosciences will in introduce the degree candidates. Dr. Lynn Sorgan, professor, will join me in congratulating the can candidates from the School of Geosciences. Dr. Sajadi. The following are candidates for Master of Science in Geology. Kyle Mattingly. <laughs> Brittany Stroud. Following are candidates for Bachelor of Science in Geology. Joseph Morel. <laughs> Jera Berdet. Ethan Kirby. <laughs> Chloe Kotner. And now, presenting the candidates for graduation in the Milbourne School of Petroleum and Geological Engineering, Dr. Runar Nygaard will join Dean Stais in congratulating the candidates. Abdul Majid Muhammad will be hooded by Dr. Salehi.
Su Hao Chang will be hooded by Dr. Nygaard. Maziad al will be hooded by Dr. Karami. The following are candidates for Master of Science in Natural Gas Engineering Management. Joseph de Spain. Danny Emmanuel. Erta, Erta. The following are candidates for Master of Science in Petroleum Engineering. Esteban Ugarte. <laughs> Ducha Habsari. Rishabh Pandey. <laughs> Carlos Arengas Sanguino. The following are candidates for Bachelor of Science in Petroleum Engineering. Ethan Freeman. Christopher Todd. Julio Rojas. <laughs> Abdul Aziz Al Shabibi. Dr. Rahman Al Hinaki. <laughs> 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 
Yahya Hashim. Ali Manji. Sung Hyun Ko. Red Potman. <laughs> Carter Crook. Nathan Stopler. <laughs> now, please help me in congratulating all of our graduates. Very special occasion. So glad that everyone was able to be here and be safe. Uh, this year, Carol Jarrett will lead the OU chant. You will find the words of the OU chant on the back of your program. And in this uh, tradition, we all sing along. So please, um, let me ask Carol to come to the, the podium. <laughs> oh, hi, Carol. <laughs> okay, LH. Hopefully it's obvious why we had Carol do that part. Um, anyway, apologize. I should have had all of you standing for the, for the chant. I, that was my bad. But anyway, thank you for raising your finger in, in OU glory. So we appreciate you for doing that. Uh, before I dismiss all of you for the final time, I would like to make one final observation. Earth sciences and engineering are in a very dynamic and interesting time. Many of you will be working to address society's growing demand for energy. Some will be pursuing academic careers to better understand our Earth. But you all, all will be asked to play a key role in protecting our environment. This is the very thing that our future will be built upon. There is a need to consider not only our energy needs, but our environment, including both the life sciences and human impact. 
there is an increasing importance being placed on moving toward creating sustainable, more socially responsible world. And I ask our graduates for each of you to embrace this challenge and make this earth a better place for generations to come. Let's never forget that the same technologies used to search for and extract our natural resources can also be used to explore and understand our planet as well as others. Your education here at the University of Oklahoma will prepare you well for the broadest set of challenges and I call on you to apply your talents and skills to towards being the best stewards of our environment. All Mewburn College of Earth and graduates, please stand. Sometimes they don't stand at this stage. They're not quite sure they're there yet, but they're there. <laughs> this is the most fun part. And on behalf of the University of Oklahoma and as Dean of the Mewburn College of Earth and Energy, I acknowledge you as recipients of doctorate, master's, and bachelor's degrees with all the rights and responsibilities pertaining thereto. If you have not already done so, it is appropriate at this time to move the tassel on your cap from the right to the left as a symbol of having achieved the honored status of graduate of the University of Oklahoma. Congratulations. <laughs> You may be seated. I'd be remiss if I didn't take the time to thank our student ushers who have volunteered their time to, particip to participate in this ceremony. Logan Crawford, Darren Egan, uh, Daniel Ferreira, Lindsay Kubush, Kubsch, I may have that wrong, and Jayla Spence. Thank you all so much for coming out here on a Saturday morning and helping your fellow graduates cross the line. The college will host a reception for all graduates and their guests immediately following our dismissal. The reception will be held in the University Club, which is at the Oklahoma Memorial Student Union. That's on the second floor. Please make your way southeast towards the clock tower. Pretty obvious to see the clock tower at the Student Union. The University Club is on the second floor on the north side of the building. We look forward to celebrating with you and taking some additional photos with you and your family. This concludes the Mewburn College of Earth and Energy Convocation Ceremony. Please, I ask that you remain seated for the recessional of the faculty followed by the graduates. Thank you.